Okay, going to be a <clears throat> video on a uh, personal uh, discussion. It's not a big deal. Uh, pretty much just to uh, get my uh, point across, uh, which really does probably doesn't matter because I believe that most of my my subscribers will probably have the same viewpoint. But um, uh, it, today is Saturday, November twentieth, and I have uh, resigned from my federal job. Uh, almost 11 years um, due to uh, pretty much the uh, mandate. So I'm just kind of kind of go over uh, the process that I had to go through um, in dealing with this with my uh, my federal agency. I'm not going to discuss the agency. Um, I don't have any uh, animosity or hatred towards the ag agency. Uh, very good group of people. So uh, I don't really have any uh, issues with uh, um, leaving the agency. I just wanted to leave on uh, on good terms and hopefully return to that actual agency or uh, another agency. Um, so um, I think believe um, when the mandate was uh, initially instituted or. Um, <clears throat> How do you say established, notified? However, the administration um, chose to uh, disseminate the information. Uh, we started getting emails um, practically every two weeks concerning that, um, and of course they had the uh, list of people who had not reported their status. Um, so those people, actually, from what I discovered later were uh, getting emails weekly uh, reminding them about the uh, the uh, mandate. Um, <clears throat> of course, I had already chosen not to take the mandate, uh, mainly for personal reasons, um, which I'm pretty sure uh, go along the lines of most Americans, that this is a uh, violation of, uh, of basically our rights. Um, needless to say that... Uh, I had already ha experienced COVID at the beginning of the year, so I had the antibody uh, factor for me, but of course, uh, that's not taken into consideration. <clears throat> so the way they pretty much did this, ignore the uh, highlighted days, these are uh, first of the month and uh, paydays for November. So the way they did it was, the initial deadline was going was the 8th and 9th where if you had not submitted any kind of paperwork making the administration I'm sorry the agency aware of your uh, vaccination status um, they were going to inform you so I did not receive anything on the 8th and I was ready to resign turning my turning my D card uh, key and travel card and be done with the agency. I was told that due to litigation to hold off, so I held off. <clears throat> so I went So I went in on the 8th with the intent to resign and leave that day. I worked on the 9th and I worked a half day on the 10th as we were provided with four hours of leave time for, for the following day of Veterans Day. I returned on the 12th um, and that's where I received my letter that was actually sent out email on the 10th. I signed the letter understanding that if I chose not to get vaccinated, I would be facing a 14 day non suspension and I had seven days from the 10th to make my decision. So on the 12th, I emailed the I emailed my supervisor, I emailed my uh, the CEO, which requesting to resign and work till the 19th. I was informed that there would be that to to that a meeting would be arranged with myself, the HR director, the CEO, 
and my supervisor to discuss why I wasn't taking the vaccine, of course. My supervisor already knew he was in the same boat. He chose not to take the vaccine and he had COVID recently, so he can't take the vaccine, but needless to say. So uh, I returned to work on the 15th. I had the meeting and again, it was discussed that I was gonna get the 14 day suspension if I chose not to resign. I mean, I chose not to get the vaccine. So I said, well, uh, <clears throat> can I work to the 19th? They said, well, we're not sure yet. We'll get back to you. So they let me know on the 16th that if I chose to resign, I can stay till the 19th. So I did stay till the 19th. And on the 19th, I received my letter that I was going to be suspended. But unfortunately, I had already resigned and I was going to finish out the day on the 19th. So I reported to work on the 19th. My supervisor was nice enough to take me to lunch with a couple of other co-workers. We had lunch. I returned to work. My supervisor was nice enough to give me uh, the 59-minute rule. And I left early for work, turned in my key, travel card, turned in my ID card also. And I am done. So as of right now, I am no longer a federal employee and I have left my job due to the mandate. Uh, for the remaining of the year, I will probably just enjoy a um, forced vacation and work on other things. Uh, because I did work in IT, well, I can kind of say I could still work in IT. I will probably maybe do some uh, polishing up on my skills, uh, maybe look to see what I could study maybe take some online courses, um, who knows. Um, currently, my financial status allows me to uh, remain unemployed for up to three months, of course, with dwindling the savings. Um, I am looking at a large check because my vacations get paid out. Um, I do plan to return to federal service because I still have uh, my FERS, my retirement in there, uh, 11 years worth, just about. Um, but needless to say, that is my situation. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, on a further note, uh, today I'm going to be shipping out the, uh, the slide that I talked about in my last video. Uh, like I said, it should, should arrive in Arizona somewhere, uh, probably on Monday or maybe Tuesday and I'll get it back in a week. That's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, take care, and be safe.